Remember, you are dust. Such stark and startling words mark the beginning of Lent. Forty days of journeying with Christ to both Calvary and the resurrection. The ashes we receive remind us dramatically that we all share in the same human condition, that we're finite, that we suffer, and that we die because of our sins. Lent unites us in this recognition that we all have failed and are all in need of radical mercy. Recognizing this need for radical mercy, the words that open our first reading today Return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning, requires us to take serious reflection on the nature and purpose of this season, to return to a Father who loves us. The words are not to scare or condemn us, but present to us great mercy, that the Father does hear us and is willing to meet us in our sin and save us. The Father's desire is that we turn to him with our whole life, to walk the path of Calvary with his son, to be transformed with his son, and to receive new life with his son. We all long, if we recognize it or not, to hear the words given to us in Paul's letter to the Corinthians. In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Today is that day. It is an acceptable time. The day of your salvation is at hand. Lent unites us in the recognition that we have all failed and are in need of radical mercy, that we're finite, that we suffer, and that we die because of our sin. The ashes we receive remind us that if we die with Christ, marked with the sign of the cross, we shall also have eternal life with Him. Have a blessed Lent. God bless.